very tough. For most of the season for his less than perfect performance in the prompt spend tathlon, but he's been good enough to join us right here in the studio. Troy Thompson, thanks for coming in. No worries, thank you for having me. It's uh, great to see you up here, mate. It has been, you've been a bit of a lightning rod for comment, haven't you, amongst your teammates ever since the zero from five? I have, I, honestly, I haven't watched the, like, the prompt spend tathlon until um, I watched it, my, my episode, and um, ever since that I've just copped it and... <laughs> I mean, copped it from probably you guys more than well, other players. What was <laughs> happening, Ty? Look, I know you from Cam the Canberra days, and you're one of the most skillful front rowers running around. But you, you, all those disciplines, you, you got zero. Oh no, I think um, oh, I was on the Nervous. plane. I was on the plane, right, trying to think of some excuses and that, and um, maybe we um, they filmed it on on our day off. Uh, fair, weren't warmed up properly? No, I was there for an hour warming oh, up fair enough. prior to it. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, we'll so, kick that one off. Yeah, so. I oh. thought, i got to say, I thought you were a little bit hard. But done, actually, I, I did have um, a, drop, a drop goal, I, I got it on the uh, <laughs> practice, and also the, um, the place kick, I, I hit the uh, crossbar. Right. Oh, oh, really? And Troy, I, I, was, I was trying Troy, to, I say something? I was trying you to got into, zero. It doesn't yeah, matter no. what you did in practice. Yeah, the passing was terrible. I thought the man catching the ball was terrible. I thought that your Is passing you skills were all right. I thought he was a little bit close to you. Maybe was he? Hey, Monaghan. Yeah, he's a bit close. I thought I was a bit, he's a bit too far away. Yeah, so did I. Mm. He dunned you, Cole. Yeah. He went twice oh, as far as anybody else did for yeah. the pass. I would give you one. Yeah. One. Yeah, I even beat you. Obviously, you've rehearsed this in your mind many times, and you've had a practice at Raiders headquarters. How have you fared since doing it? I haven't done it since. Fair enough. No, I Fair enough. Since. And, um, I thought I thought you would have been that I, distraught. You would have <laughs> turned up like training early and we just thought you might try it in a game. game. No, in Chip and chase. 2006, um, I, I did a place kick and actually tore, tore my hamstring. So Matty Elliott told me never to kick a footy ever again. And after that, good advice. Never did tell the first advice time for a Troy, just to get yourself back in the good books with your teammates and blokes on Fox Sports and all the fans out there that support you at Canberra, Laurie's been screaming out for players to do this. In a game, is there any chance this week or next week? Because you won't be in the playoffs anyway. So for drop goal, 40-20. Chip, chip, chip and chase. Joshy Miller is known for his uh, chip and chases at training, and I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to do one pretty shortly. Truly? Yeah. That'll be interesting. If he can yeah. do a chip and chase this weekend, he'll shoot straight to the top of what next are you year's props. He will. <laughs> Look out the nine. <laughs> <It'll be> five <laughs> from five. It'll be worth double points. But if the human missile can do one. Then, uh, he, he honestly then. always does uh, chip and chase that train and, and loves it. Really? Yeah. He, he, was, he was actually filthy to get a start on props fantastic. He's going to be dirty. Well, he had a chance, yeah, of course, Monday night football Giddly against the Newcastle Knights coming up. Mm. Down there on Monday night, so. we'll be there in the freezing cold, and Joshy Miller will see you chips and chase. And now, based, of course, on your first performance and the fact that we've dined on that donut uh, for as long as we have all season, <laughs> we thought it was only fair. Now, you said you haven't had a crack, but we thought it was only fair you'd give you, give you a chance yeah. to redeem yourself. And... Look, I think you did do a, a secret go, didn't you? I did. How'd you uh, go? I did. I got uh, four out of five, actually. Four out of five? Yeah, four out of five. That was two weeks ago. Impressive. See, you bounced back in a big way. Well, look, it That's sounds good. suspicious to me, but let's have a look at what happened in the redemption <laughs> of Troy Thompson. Hey, how you doing? I'm John Monaghan here down in Canberra, and we're here for the uh, Pops Pentathlon Take 2. There was some controversy in the first round, and uh, Fox Sports is kind enough to give uh, Troy Thompson a you know, second crack, so we'll uh, see how he's feeling today. <laughs> Troy, uh, you, know, you struggled enough from five in the first round. You're, um, they've, they've allowed you to wear your headgear this week. How do you think you'll go? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I've been uh, working hard in the gym. <laughs> You're looking good. Uh, I thought it was Georgie Rose again. <laughs> the first one we've got is the uh, field goal from 30 out, so we'll try that. I think you're shooting. Yep, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Uh, the first skill we got here is the uh, 30 metre field goal. Um, he's looking quite fit. I might uh, pass one of his toes and see if he can reach it. You ready, big Tommy? Let's go, big fella. <laughs> yes! That was unbelievable. One for one. Uh, already better than last time, so, mate, everything now is a bonus. Let's go. That's it. Let's give up now. That's it. Right, challenge two. We have the uh, sideline conversion. He's one from one and 
Um, he's looking good at the moment. I'll uh, back him over every day. Tommy, take it away, mate. Awful. Still, mate, to the left there. No, nah, you missed that one, Tommy. Um, mate, I noticed when you were uh, putting the ball on the tee that your hemorrhoids are playing up again, so... <laughs> mate, I think you might uh, need to do that in there. Thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got Challenge 3, which is uh, the 4020, which is actually named after another teammate of ours, Terry Campisi, so... Troy, mate, how do you think you're going to go? Yeah, I've got uh, some good odds on this this kick, but uh, you know, Kempo's probably our best player. <laughs> Here we go. Good pass, too. That's a good strike. A little touchy down there. Mate, uh, you're two out of three. Um, you're chasing George Rose down. Uh, you're actually looking quite fit, mate. How are you feeling? Yeah, no, this is from uh, probably sitting behind a desk, you know, writing those newspaper articles. I see you writing newspaper articles, bagging everyone, and you're looking spot on at the moment, mate. Well done. I've <laughs> uh, got Challenge 4, which is the chip and chase. Uh, he's definitely doing better than last time. He's got three out of the four. So uh, we'll see how he goes here. It's a good chip. Oh, good hands. <laughs> good speed, too. Mate, what the hell is that? What is that dance? It's a victory dance, mate. Victory dance? I feel like I've seen that before. Yeah, I've been out sometimes after a good win or you know, a try, so you've probably seen it around somewhere. Mate, it looked awful. Uh, this is the final challenge, it's the uh, left to right spiral pass. Uh, Tomo, you need both of these to uh, equal George Rose at the top, so take it away. Let's go, dude. Yeah, nice. That's one. Here it is. Under pressure, too, I'll get a bit wider here. Nice, mate. Mate, you've uh, given the camera raiders a bit more credibility. You've gone from last to first. Uh, it's been a big week for you. Uh, Troy actually went to advanced hair during the week and uh, to fix his male pattern baldness. And the only solution they had was to uh, the wear the headgear 24-7 in public. So, mate, well done. You did well today. Thanks, mate. Just hopefully uh, soon they bring out something to uh, yeah, fix this up. There's a few in our team that could use it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. There it is.